<clears throat> okay, so what we have is it the pump again. This is a uh, 12 gallon a minute half horse two wire pump. Okay, the motor's at the bottom, which is here. Yeah. The pump head's there. The intake's here. That's correct. Yeah. Whenever the pump is in the well, it's drawing water up over the motor to help keep it cool. And the pump spins at 3450 RPM, and it needs the water in there to keep the impellers from fusing together running at that speed. Okay. So if your well runs dry, that's when you have problems with your impeller. Okay. Over here, we have a pump that is just the, or the motor, which we have torn apart so that you can see you just have the four bolts that come off of there. This is the gear that connects to the pump impellers. That, that's the pump shaft, yes. Okay. Right. And we have a gauge. If we tear a pump up, this gauge, there's a thrust bearing in the bottom. This gauge would tell us if the bearing is okay, and it swings without catching. So that... A certain amount of space under those... Uh -huh. Yeah. And if it were to catch, that means what to us? The, that means that the thrust bearing has dropped down, which can allow your impeller stack to drop down and cause problems. In fact, we can show them one down below. That That's the have. one I took earlier, that the, the damaged pump, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when we tested this, let's just talk a little bit about the test setup here for a minute. If we can stand this up so I can see, see the gauges here. <clears throat> this is our homemade test setup rig, but basically what we've done is attached a, an outlet line uh, to a gauge with a shutoff valve, and then this is just the uh, outlet line to put the water back into the tank. Now, <clears throat> all pumps come with wires attached to the motor. This is called a what wire pump again? How many wires? It's a two-wire pump, even though it has three. The ground wire doesn't count. Okay. The original pumps came with just the two wires. Now, these have two black wires and a green wire. We know green is standard for ground. Yes. And does it matter which wire you hook up to the electric uh, current? No, it's a 220-volt pump, so just so you're getting 110 from each side of your box. Well, I'm going to ask this question, and I hope it don't embarrass you on the camera, but how come 220 requires two wires here, and in my home, 220 requires three wires? Well, we don't need a neutral wire on a uh, pump. We're not running a clock or anything, you know, that requires a neutral. The neutral wire is only needed for if you need a 110 source of that 220? Yes. I didn't know that. That's great. Okay, so you've got here, uh, uh, this is a general purpose uh, amp meter, or voltmeter rather, right? Yeah. And you set it to uh, check ohms resistance, right? That's correct. And what you didn't see before we uh, had to pump in the barrel there, what the first check we do is we want to take one of the wires and check it to the pump itself to make sure that our needle doesn't move. If the needle doesn't move, doesn't mean you have any uh, resistance. So that means uh, we're, we're going to put it in the barrel then. It, it means it's not shorted out. Yes. If we're shorted out, you theoretically could get juiced. Now I can go between the two wires to check continuity right through the windings of the motor. And that should work? That should work. Oh yeah, that does. The needle goes all the way there. So, if that were uh, down, that would indicate a problem too, then. Yes. Yes, okay. it would. All right. So there's two forms of continuity test uh, between the wires to make sure you got continuity between the wires, and the other one is to make sure you're not shorted out. Hmm. Now, on a, we can also check a three-wire pump. Uh, we have a control box set up on the wall. We have a blank cover. But we carry like a half, three-quarter, and a one-horse control box. And in those things are a capacitor? A capacitor and a starting relay. And that's used to start the pump? On a, on a three-wire three wire pump, yes. And how do we start pumps here without three wires? Well, we have a built-in capacitor in this motor. Well, you mean all that stuff in that box is min miniaturized inside this pump motor? Yes. Somewhere. Okay. All right. Why would one want a, a, a three-wire pump versus a two-wire pump? In the original pumps that they had out. A lot of people used the three-wire pump in hopes that there would be a problem up at the top of the well where they can just pull this off. An easier, easier solution to solve a problem. Than pulling the pump out of the well. Yes. I also noticed that the larger horsepower pumps come now three wires only. Is that because they can't miniaturize that? Or they need that power to they start? They need that power to start. Okay. All right. Hmm. Maybe next time we'll test a three-wire pump and see what happens on it. Uh, 
uh, the only difference I can see is when you start, right? You get that juice down that one red wire. Yeah, the red wire is the start winding, the, and the relay just gives it a start to get it going, and then it drops out, and you're still going with your 230 volt power on the, on the two wires, okay. but you need that start winding. Uh, if you want to, we can go ahead and show them down below the other pump that we'd torn That's apart. Good. All right, we'll do that. 